Having trouble scoring in Madden 23? In today's video, I'm going to show you the most explosive offensive passing play in the entire game. And the best part about it is it's found in your favorite playbook because it's in every single playbook in Madden 23. It's so explosive that I've scored 52 passing touchdowns in only 12 online games. Which is an average of over four touchdowns a game. If you go to the top 100 players leaderboard, the best players in the world average around three touchdowns a game. I'm Mad Money Shot, and if you want to learn how to run the most explosive play hidden in your playbook, stick around after the intro. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. The offensive playbook that I'm going to be using today is going to be my New Orleans Saints offensive ebook one more time. If you guys missed the first offensive video that I put out of this, I will have a link in the description because it's also super glitchy and definitely something you should have in your arsenal. As well as a link to download my full offensive ebook as well if you guys want to check that out. And the formation that I'm going to be using today is going to be the Gun Tray Y Flex, which is pretty much one of the meta formations every single year. The play itself that I'm going to be using is going to be the PA Crossers. A couple years back, maybe in Madden 19 when the game dropped, this was one of the most broken plays in the game and it's back in a big way now you might be saying to yourself my favorite playbook doesn't have the gun tray y flex i'm sure i'm gonna get a lot of comments of people that are confused not every playbook has the gun tray y flex but a lot of playbooks will have this play in other formations like the gun tray offset which is also in the new orleans saints all i have to do is go over just a few formations and the pa post shot is essentially the exact same play that'll work with the exact same setups but you can find the pa crossers and other playbooks under different formation names like the gun trips te offset which will have the exact same pa crossers that you can use the same way you can find it in formations like the Trips TE Flex, which essentially is the exact same PA crossers, and all these setups will work the exact same way no matter which one of these plays you find in your playbook. I also have another play, which is a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game from the Gun Bunch. So if you guys want me to continue this series and try to put out more videos like this, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Now, for a lot of this gameplay, I'm going to be using the Kansas City Chiefs. I know they don't have Tyree Kill anymore, but they still have some fast receivers, and you really need two. This particular team has McCall Hardman, still 97 speed, and Scantling, who's a 95 speed it also helps to have a quarterback like Patrick Mahomes I mean I could use like the Dolphins or something but at the end of the day I mean I'd rather a better quarterback for my offensive focus for my game planning I pretty much always go throw it deep because that's just the type of player that I am I'm always trying to bomb it up over the top so that's going to be the best setup I don't know if it really helps but it probably helps your deep route running just a little bit as far as adjustments too you just want to make sure that you substitute your fastest receiver in this particular spot right here because this is going to be the home run route against every single defense so make sure you have your fastest or your best receiver in this spot as far as the setup for this play, I mean, I typically try to bomb this up on the very first play, no matter what defense I'm looking at, because my opponent hasn't seen the play. Once they see the play, they typically try to follow and use it because that's really the only thing that can stop this play. But all you're going to do is motion out this tight end and put him on a comeback route, which is the L2 or the LT button if you're on Xbox or PlayStation. Then you're going to put the B route here on a fade. But at the end of the day, the much easier route is going to be the crossing Y route, which you can see my opponent does pick up on it here a little bit late. And in his cover four, I still bomb it up and almost get a one play touchdown on the very first play. Which, to be honest with you, I think I only failed because maybe I didn't do the new passing system correctly. But that definitely should have been a one play touchdown. <coughs> And you can see he was in a cover four drop, which is essentially a prevent defense. So even though I didn't score on that play or even complete the pass, I wanted to start off with this particular example because this is the best cornerback in the game, Jalen Ramsey. On the very first play, you get to see the effect that these outside comeback routes have on these outside cornerbacks, these deep coverage cornerbacks, whether it's cover four or cover three, it's going to be the exact same way. Even the best cornerback in the game, Jalen Ramsey, is going to bite on that comeback, allowing my receiver to get behind it by a pretty ridiculous margin. A little bit later in the game, down two touchdowns, my opponent starts running a cover three, and we got to score quick. So we're going to do the exact same setup to isolate the exact same route. Typically, I want to run this from the hash mark to the open side of the field as well, which is definitely going to be helpful. My opponent bites with his user low, and then goes in a full sprint to try to get back, but it's too late. Because I have to moss him just a little bit. But you can see, we get a very easy one-play touchdown against cover three zone the exact same way we should have the first time against cover four. Now, if we watch the replay one more time, you can see Jalen Ramsey is lit up. He's in the zone. He's... he's He's at his maximum potential, but he's still biting on this comeback route. If a lit up Jalen Ramsey is going to get beat by this play, every single cornerback in the game is going to lose the exact same way. Now, if somebody you're playing is usering and trying to get in front of that route, the easiest thing to do or the best thing to do to keep your opponent down in the box is basically just hit them a lot of inside zones. There's a very good inside zone run play in this particular offense, and that's the best way to keep your opponent honest. I do have a full breakdown of this offense, including more explosive plays like the Shock H option on my Join Now community tab and on my Patreon, on my eBooks and all that stuff as well if you guys want to check that out. There are a couple of defenses that this could hit a one-play touchdown against that I didn't get any actual gameplay footage of, but Tampa 2, Cover 2 Zone... 
Against cover two zone, you have to do a little bit of a different setup. You have to motion out this tight end again one more time, only this time you got to put him on a 10 yard out route. You can actually, you don't have to make that adjustment at all, to be honest with you. You can leave him on the original route and it'll work the same way. You just have to motion him out and put the B route on a fade one more time, and then you'll see how this Y route essentially splits the safeties very easily right up the center. Against cover two man, it actually works the exact same way with the exact same setup. You make your motion, you make your fade, all that, you know, is the exact same. But based on the fact that this is a pressing man coverage, a lot of times the cornerback's job is to redirect the receivers towards one of the safeties. And since this is a crossing route, a lot of times they'll just push him over so dramatically that you really don't get that same type of separation. And you have to throw the ball a little bit earlier so he doesn't come in contact with the other safety across the field. So it's not necessarily one play touchdown unless you have a really speedy receiver, but it's definitely a big play. But at least you can see that, that very same route beats man coverage. On this next play, my opponent's trying to hit me with the old-fashioned mid-blitz. And if I wanted to, the A route's a man beater, the B route's a man beater. I don't have to make any adjustments. They're all going to be man beaters and much quicker than the Y route. But if I want to try to hit that same one-play touchdown, I can do the exact same setup, and the Y route will get open. Now, in this next play here, the pressure gets in a lot quicker than I was hoping it would. Run, bitch! And the Y route doesn't quite get the separation I want, but you can see it does beat man very easily. And I probably would have had a one-play touchdown if it wasn't for the pressure. If you know your opponent's running a man coverage, though, I find the most successful check down is just to put your tight end on a zig route. You don't have to motion them out or nothing. You still have the deeper route option. But if somebody's sending a crazy man zero blitz, you're going to see that this zig route is really the best man beer in the game. I mean, look how much separation he gets. I know you might be saying, yeah, it's Travis Kelsey, but trust me, no matter who you run that with, that receiver gets open. It's just the way that this game is designed. Zig routes make every DB bite as if they're covering a drag. There actually is an additional setup you can do with this play that I've put out in years past, and it still works very well. Pretty much every route on this play can get open if you streak this tight end and put the Y route on a drag. Now, if you really want to kick this up a notch, there's a third step where you can motion across this X route and put him on a slant. That essentially is just going to be best for zone coverages. I mean, it'll beat man coverage the same way that a drag and the crosser will. But the slant option is really designed for people that like to run Mabel concepts. A lot of people will run Mabels where they put their hard flat in a zero, or they'll put it in a five, then they'll put their curl flats in a 20 or 25 to take away plays like this the slam will get open at about 15 yards so having that means that it will always find the blind spot between those zone drops if your opponent does that now typically on this play i want to look for the y route or the b route which are the crossers those are my first two reads but for whatever reason my opponent is using the safety and he follows that deep crosser probably because that's where most people would throw the ball leaving the tight end wide open and for an easy touchdown which essentially ends the game because he is down 34 14 at half but before he left you could see that a hundred percent completion percentage Hi. for 184 yards and three touchdowns see ya so that's that's the vid if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future hit the like button and let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below